Disclaimer, the following is a parody and not to be taken seriously. Social justice warriors. They're plaguing the films and series of today's society. You want to make a mediocre superhero film? Promote it as one that's culturally aware. You want to make a film for women? Make a Ghostbusters movie where the best part is the idiot guy. Want to make an incoherent Star Wars trilogy? Promote it as having strong female characters. Disney has been promoting many agendas in their various films, but oh my god, when it comes to their control over Lucasfilm and Star Wars, boy, are they focusing on the most necessary of minorities. White, brunette, females. Because we all know about the atrocities they face, the bullying and the jokes. Blondes are never made fun of for being dumb, and the redheads are never bullied about always being angry. Brunettes need to be properly represented out there. Therefore, Disney Lucasfilm created Rey. In The Force Awakens, we see Rey beat up a bunch of aliens. One of them simply bear hugs her. But nope, Disney wants to beat up these aliens with their empowering white brunettes. Gotta show that they can stand up for themselves, I guess. And to add some more spice to the mix, they throw in a black male who watches on from the side and is so impressed that he doesn't help. The brunettes don't need help. What are you, an idiot? Rogue One then came along and we got the white brunette female, Jin Erso, and she kicked butt. Star Wars is filled with strong brunettes, and don't you forget, you gotta represent that minority group out there, people. Are you listening? Cause next thing you know, Rey is back in the next movie, kicking more butt. The black guy is so happy to see her, that he gives her a big old hug. Lucky it wasn't a bear hug, otherwise Disney would have gone even further into the SJW mode. Sure, there's an Asian woman in this film, but Disney's focusing on the white brunettes. Those are the proper minority out there, let's be honest. Yeah, even the Asian woman forcibly kisses some black guy. And let's be honest, in the real world, you never force yourself onto anyone. That's someone everyone knows. So there's no big surprise that Disney doesn't focus on her. They probably let that slip because they're so focused on the white brunettes who actually need to be represented positively in film. And that's the tale of SJW and Star Wars. Or is it? We have Solo a Star Wars story next. And boy is it a doozy. I don't know if it was the production issues this film faced, but Disney made sure to expand the SJW range from the minority group of white brunette females to white brunette males. That's right, the film has a scene where Han Solo kicks butt. Or should I say, kicked balls. And guess what? People who don't think he could've done it are impressed. Wait, wait, wait. One of them is a white brunette woman. Disney slipped one past me while I was falling asleep. Hashtag Solo boycotted. Kira, the strong white brunette female in this movie, kicks the butt of a pike. That's right, another non-human hashtag representation. The man and progressive droid are so impressed that they didn't help her. They were shocked. They almost sneaked this one past me, but my SJW detector is strong with the force. But the big question now is why isn't there a Star Wars movie with a strong white brunette lead coming out this December? when Aquaman has a strong white redhead female in the film. So what's the plan? What do you think the plan is? Oh wait, you didn't notice? Mary Poppins is coming out! Oh no. Oh no. That's my Illuminati alarm. Kathleen Kennedy is a white brunette female. There are three in the movies, and she's overseeing the films. There are three points to a triangle. This is all a joke and not to be taken seriously. I was simply parroting those people out there who hate on SJW motives. I am all for representation in film and support well-executed representation. 